Is that the right button? Hang on a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I think. Can you hear me? Did I just unmute the microphone correctly? Hello. Hello. Cool. Hi, everyone. Hi and welcome. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. That music is a bit loud. I'll turn it down momentarily. Before I get started with, uh, started with anything, please know that it's the second week of work on Hold Fast Bullshittery Part 2. Last week... Uh, sorry, we'll do the music now. Hang on, let me just... Uh, hang on. Audio... Oh, there's no, there's no master volume. I'll just turn all down. Yeah. Right down there, there we go. Um... Yes, so, uh, sorry, what was I saying? Uh, so, um, it's the second week of work on Hold Fast Bullshittery, part two. Although technically the third Hold Fast video, since the first one was not called a bullshittery. Um, and last week I've assembled the bullshittery on the timeline in extremely rough form. So it doesn't have the text and the animations. So, what I need to do this week is do the first five minutes, and then next week do the second five minutes. So, um, yeah, give me two weeks or so to do the text and the animations, all the keyframing stuff that makes a bullshittery a bullshittery. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. So it, it's a fairly boring update. It's just me putting text on things and making it smooth and interesting and, um, and all, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all okay. Uh, this weekend was good. It was quite yeah, quite relaxing to be honest. I just did some cleaning mostly. I found myself between games, so a couple of games of Rising Storm here. I tried to get into Conan Exiles, but it just wasn't grabbing me. And um, yeah, so just cleaning. Uh, Lulu went out to my auntie's where she got lots of attention. She was a little bully, unfortunately. She decided to pick on this uh, puppy, and it wasn't a little puppy, it was like three times her size. It was like a staffy. But nevertheless, Lulu decided to steal her toys, and steal her chewy thing, and just generally be a little bossy boots every time this puppy wanted attention. And this puppy was sort of falling on the floor and being submissive, and Lulu was just being a total, like, who are you, get away from me. She was so badly behaved. Uh, anyway, uh, so this weekend was fine. I do have some bad news. In, well, I have some good news first. The good news is um, uh, I last week I was able to find a little bungalow that I rather like the look of. So it's quite exciting because um, I, I, I'm doing like the legal forms to potentially get a get a place, maybe like a something better than this dingy little flat. Uh, and the good news is that it would have a little garden for Lulu. So yeah, she gets to run around in the grass and hopefully be happier um yeah so there's that uh, and so and the bad news is you know that i have two ant farms unfortunately one of them has experienced some sort of a mass casualty event for reasons that i'm not sure about i came back yesterday to discover that pretty much all of the colony has died with the exception of the queen and two workers i don't know why I did put some new food in there, but I quite literally put in the same food as the colony adjacent to them. Like, identical piece that I just broke in half. Like, um, it's a little bit of cricket jam that I'd frozen. I took the same piece, broke it in half, and just put half and half in each thing. So, I, I don't know what's happened. I have no idea what's happened. Um, so I, I'm, I'm waiting to see if the, if, if the, uh, the queen who's had her colony annihilated, her name is Debbie... I'm waiting to see if she survives, uh, and I'm probably going to try and pop her back in a test tube and get her in a sterile environment in the in the spice cupboard, basically. Um, but it's going to take a month to recover. It's um, yeah, it's very sad. I, I don't know what's happened. So it, it remains to be seen whether or not the, whether or not that ant colony will survive. We'll see. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. So I hope you're all okay. So as for right now, um, so I'm gonna. I'm going to I'm I'm trying not not to be an asshole. I'm still between games. Um I don't know if Prey is even my type of game. I don't know anything about Prey. I'm not I I know that I'm joking with the title, but um I am literally that guy who thought, "Oh, it's Prey from 2006 and then just ignored this game because Prey from 2006 was kind of mediocre." Um so yeah, I probably would would have just let this game slide past, uh, but th then it was offered as a gift, uh, so it is a Christmas gift. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to remain open-minded. Um, obviously, I know that it doesn't have any relation to um, uh, to Prey from 2006, so 
We'll see. Again, we'll see. I'm just going to go in there and, and see what happens. But no, no guarantee that it's even going to grab me. I might just not be in the mood for this type of game. Whatever it is. I'm guessing it's probably horror? Hang on. Right. So, well, I don't know if that's good or bad. You're going to have to tell me, like, if I'm going in blind. Because um, I am going in blind. Right. Um, play it on normal. Why? Is it unbalanced? Uh, Zara's that? Uh, what are you doing? She's had a bath, by the way. That's why her fur looks like that. What are you doing? A, it's a goat's foot. <laughs> it's quite grim. It's a chewy thing. I'll leave her with that. You good girl? Yes. Sometimes you're a good girl. No, no lap time. You're, you're soaking wet, honey bunny. No, no. You stay on that sofa. You stay on that sofa. I love you. Right. Okay, so let me just put the music back up. Um, so music volume back up here. Right, let's um, get started then. So, new game. Slot one. Uh, so, uh, for real. So, uh, do I do normal or do I just go with hard? Thank you, Tom Sawyer. Your wits are the only thing that will keep you alive. Oh, I'm screwed then. Chat says normal. Go hard? Fuck it. Let's go hard. Right. Tom says normal? Okay, we'll go normal. <laughs> I'll take Tom's recommendation. Alright, here we go then. So again, for those joining, I have no idea, genuinely, no clue what this game is. Beyond that it's a first-person shooter? Ugh. Who are you two? Hello. You a couple? Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I thought we were in a cutscene. It's the character selection. Got it. I thought we were all right. Um Okay. <laughs> you wake up in your apartment in the year twenty thirty two. It's similar to Bioshock, says Callie, and System Shock. Oh, yeah? Another one of those. Okay. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Morgan Yu is his name. Who's Alex Yu? His brother, maybe? Oop. First day on the job. Put on your trans star uniform in my apartment. Bloody hell. It's a massive apartment. What the fuck? Uh, I'm in America. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Workshop, circuit boards. I'm some sort of an engineer? <clears throat> Oops. I'll clean that up later. Uh, Morgan Yu. Don't throw it. Just put it down gently. Then we can fuck it. Never mind. All right, hang on. Just having an explore. Uh, the method Psi. Excerpt from the Architects of the Neurological Revolution. What if I told you that I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under ten minutes? 
I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe? Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Silvera, an exile. Heart of the Wok. Excerpt from Chapter 5 of Heart of the Wok by P. Su Do. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavour to every new meal it is tasked to cook. You have not properly cleaned your wok. Okay. Uh, sorry for those joining. I'm just milling about. Uh, this gentleman's name is Morgan. Morgan Yu. Oh, cool. So most of the books are readable. That's pretty cool. Uh, his name is Morgan Yu, and we're going by, heli by helicopter to s first day on the job? Whatever that job is. Uh, this is a true blind playthrough. I haven't even seen a single trailer. Okay. So what's his job then? It's very... Morning, Mr. Yu. Hello. Patricia Varma. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. You're quite loud. Sorry, can I just turn her down? Sorry, not you specifically. Just all dialogue. Uh... Turn down. Huh. Must be for you, hey. Okay. It, yeah, it does feel very Deus Ex, doesn't it? Uh, so, ex use object or examine. I see. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Oh, that's clever, I like that. Wait, is that the studio? Oh, wow. Might need to turn the music up a little bit. That's cool. That's I do a like nice that. view on the bay there. going. Thank you, Emmy. We took it. We took a helicopter for this. <laughs> Couldn't have just taken the subway. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Thank you. Report to the, to the test center on the Transstar testing facility. Oh, you can just... Yeah, it's a dynamic text. Oh, cool. So what is this thing? Oh, hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. What are you? Science operator. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live reading. Don't worry, 
Nothing will be missed. Hang on, sorry. Apologies, I'm, I, it's quite... I haven't got it right, have I? Turn up the speech. There we go. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. No, I'm fine, thank you. What is this building? Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, okay. Thank you, X Rain and Haynes, and Carbide and Mind Drake and Primataria. Morgan! Finally! Hello. First day on the job. Transdot testing facility. Ah, I see the future. They haven't invented better gyms. Hey. Ugh. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay, so brother. Bigger brother, I'm guessing. Quite literally. What's that? Uh, same. So what does it mean now? Mathematician on the level... What's the test? What's he talking about? Button, hello. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Thank you, Yusukan. Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Remove the red boxes. Carry objects with... And throw. Oh, as quickly as possible. Just like... Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. <laughs> Pick up these boxes and make a mess. Wonderful. Ah, uh, okay. What? <laughs> this is like a prank show. Hang on. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Hide in this room? There's nowhere to hide in this room. Where would one hide in this room? There. Oh. You can't see me. Glass won't break, will it? I'm doing a Bethesda. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. What's, what's going on? What is this place? Move boxes? Hide in a room? Why is it... Like, it looks like a seal... No, it's not sealed. There's a vent. All right. Here we go. For this test... Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. <laughs> press the red button when you're ready. <laughs> They're taking the piss, aren't they? I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? <laughs> me too, me? explain to me. I thought exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. 
What are they looking for? What are they trying to get me to do? They, 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 I, I assume they, they want to give me... The, hmm. There's a huge piece of the puzzle Can I don't have. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Oh, sorry. You're planning a vacation. Go, go somewhere familiar you know you love or uh. try something new. Oh. Uh, mm, familiar. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. <laughs> Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? <laughs> what? Uh, no one has that right. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. You're going to ask me about a sweet roll. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to a track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. Ah, the trolley problem. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man, pushing him into the track who would stop the train. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the tracks, but you would die. <laughs> Pushing the fat man is still an option. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. Oh, what the fuck? In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... What was that? Uh... My coffee. It's empty. Whoa! Oh hey. shit! It's a head crab. Oh my god! Security! Security! Oh dear! Oh god! Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. The same day. Oh god, is this another time loop game? Like Outer Wilds. Hang on. Uh, what happened there then? So, for, sorry, for those just joining, I was part of some... Um, condescending test in an office over there and some sort of like head crab burst out of from beneath the table and attacked a dude and now I'm back in my flat the door is closed is there like a phone or something oh wait there's a computer no oh. Thank you, Soldier Arkham, and Sour Power, and Lauren. Oh dear. Oh fuck. Is it a dream? What the fuck happened to her? 
Patricia Varma, she's a corpse. She died still working on that pipe. No, wait. What the fuck happened to her? Her head has been deformed. Hello. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay. Didn't this go around to the left before? Is that my stamina bar or the health of the wall? No, it's just a stamina bar. I have no idea what's going on. Hang on. Oops, there we go. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. I see. Good. Hello. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Huh. Okay. What's this about then? Things are dropped. Crises. Evacuation, maybe? Chairs knocked over? Uh, Evelyn McCarthy. Oh, that's the name of the user, not the subject. Files, utilities, examine. What's this? Daily tests. Uh, if you've been on branches of our main product line, you'll know that something we need to, uh, we need to put in extra effort to hit Sorry, sometimes we need to put an extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend uh, indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Uh, Sylvan Bellamy. Okay. At this point, uh, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing in indefinitely. What the fuck is a neuromod? Uh, I know this uh, this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss uh, Alazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests that you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Huh. Evelyn McCarthy, email. Extensive test on me? On something called the Neuromod. Two emails, both read. Utilities. Audio tests. What's this? Wake up call. Audio events. I see. Aha. Hey, Morgan. Gotcha. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You said the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. What We're gonna place? shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Obviously, the sound of the helicopter landing above. Pigeon? I see. So all of this is just a simulation of the apartment, uh, the uh, the apartment building. So I presume we're not on Earth. The email said station, and he said orbit. So I presume we're in we're in orbit. You don't well unless we're on an oil rig. You wouldn't call a building a station. It's either an oil rig or we're in space. Okay. So we might not even be near Earth. Let's have a look around. So something to do with the neuromod, a doctor was attacked, a security team is on high alert, which implies that things are not okay and that they haven't got the situation under control and whatever attack that dude is now loose. Soundstage rules, absolute silence when simulation is in progress, do not enter stage unless in costume, do not interact with subject off script. I wonder if I'm a clone. 
Sound stage, a reminder. Always reset the position of the stage. Props. Either a clone or they're fucking with my memories. Hmm. Sound stage B. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence uh, should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. <laughs> Always return the helicopter to its position after being serviced. <laughs> ah, okay. I see. So they kept having me run those tests. It said removing the neuromod and putting it back in my head. So are they fiddling with some sort of a device that's meant to do something when I hit the buttons? So why keep me unaware as a subject? Is that a dynamic musical sting? Did I hit something? Do not open this door when the simulation is in progress. I see. There's nothing there. It's fake fake piping. Hmm. Maybe it's not space. I mean, look at it. All uh, things are built in such a way. Yeah. Uh, oh, hello. What the fuck is that? Was it in the box? Was it the box? You see that? Yeah, it is the box. It's turning into objects to evade. It's not attacking, it's evading. Oh shit, no, it's attacking. What the fuck? Search corpse. Uh, Typhon organ. Mimic tumor. Mimic tumor. Necropsy required. Hmm. Sounds strange. Oops. So maybe an alien organism has attacked the station? So what am I doing? Oh, it's, it is my torch. Sorry, I'm turning it off and on again. Okay. Security locker. I see. I was right about the wall. Yeah, there we go. So the wall shifts. Exit. I see. Hang on a second. Uh, this is the back side of the apartment? I see, so that's the sound stage. Yeah, the wall turns here. I entered the lift, and then where did it go? Did they literally just, like, move it along the grounds? Like in a cart or some shit? <laughs> hmm. Sorry, for those just joining, I appear to... Oh, hello. Oh no. Uh, the hefty twist and loop handle wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in the Transtar facilities. Good for liberal applications of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Okay. Uh, sorry, for those just joining. So I seem to have woken up from like a Truman Show style simulation where the apartment... Oh sorry, I've just gone, gone in a loop. So the apartment that I woke up in is fake. And I think they're either fucking with my memories, or maybe I'm a clone. They keep putting in something in my head called a Neuromod? Aha! This must be what they're doing. The safe code is scribbled out. Something's banging around. So what is it, do you reckon? They put the subject in the chair, and then it's... Notes. Uh, manufacturing order number 65489. Delivered to Marco Simmons, Fabrication Department. Marking this entire SKU as defective. Investigate with fabrication, Marco. There's a safe there. Notes. Password, ICOP0876. With all these names, I'm just going to grab a... 
So it's I cup lowercase zero eight seven six. Really? The dude wrote his password right next to his works. Oh, uh, whoops. Sorry. Okay, I don't need to write it down. Really? It does it automatically? Oh, whoops. But it'd be nice to write it down on paper and enter it. Otherwise, it feels like you're playing a game for dummies. Okay, reminder about company password policy. Uh, do not share password with anyone. Mm -hmm. Note about this morning. So from Alex Yu. Okay, so I guess he wasn't fake. The Alex Yu guy. He's real. Neuromod division. Neuromod division. There's an entire division. Right. Simmons. The test results uh, today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. From Alex to Marco Simmons. Hmm. What's that banging? Oh look, there's weird fucking plant things. Maybe it's tentacles from another one of those creatures. Huh. Weird. Sorry, which way am I going? I went in a loop accidentally. Simulation debriefing, okay. I see. So when I went... <laughs> so the lift barely moves. Then these are all the screens for the... The city. Oh look, some of them are shattered. So yeah, some, some big event has occurred then. Wait, sorry. So that's the lift where we enter the facility. I see, the doors are partially automated. As are the walls. So every time this dude's memories reset, he comes just back to the test chamber. So why would they need me to be unaware of that? There we go. Why not just have me as a willing subject. Oh, no, remember what they kept saying. Just do it without thinking. Maybe thinking about it? Makes the neuromod not work? Maybe it has to be instinctual. So sorry. Quick select. Quickly alternate, alternate between main weapon. Oh, what's this? Eh, okay. Oh, hello. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. I see. So they can mimic objects around me just like that box. But what is it? An organism? Oh, hello. Did this break the glass? I can break the glass. Creepy. Mimic corpse. Nothing of note. Okay. So they needed me to be unaware that I was in a simulation so that I would... Sorry, what was it again? How did it go? It was press the button. Then it was... No, sorry, it was move boxes, wasn't it? So pick up some boxes and move them to one side. Then press a button. And then answer some questions on a screen. Oh, what's this? So it's the doctor, Simmons. Alex. Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? Oh, this is recording. He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. 
I'm on my way. Got it. So the, you is the brother, and Simmons is now in critical condition. Uh, Zhao Long Heng. Hang on. A note about this morning, same. So Morgan's behavior. So Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Outburst at the debrief? Pending a psych evaluation, Alex uh, indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we, granted. Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests in debriefings and within the test itself. Aggressive response. Outburst. Was that my last test a minute ago? No, surely not, because some big crisis happened. Outburst. So they're getting deviant sets of results from my behaviour, apparently. Oops. Oh, you can crouch. Okay. There's a zoom, so I'm just experimenting with the controls. Huh. Oh, whoa. Ripped? Pulled? Look at this. Yeah, something serious has happened, hasn't it? Exit to the lobby. Skill recorder. Stage B, control room. The station. Are we really on a building or are we on? Are we in space? The setting is changing, isn't it? Look, now that we're clear of that area. Simulation lab. I see. Just the lights. Huh. Stage B control room. We'll just check this out. Oh yeah, it's just the... Yeah, the helicopter. Oh, hello. Why would it reveal itself? What's going on there? I hadn't found it. Uh, Gret Mickelson, corpse. Jesus Christ. There, was, there were two? Whoops. Error. Press, press OK to reset the simulation. Whoops, I keep doing that, sorry. Simulation scene. Okay, Earth side, echelon to Transstar. Uh, okay. Scene switching in progress. Haha. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay. So yeah, why the fuck would they need me to, yeah, need me to be unaware of all of this? Uh, carry or search. You've got an apple on you. Okay, hang on. Oh, I see. Do I have to eat and drink? Carry. Ugh. What the fuck? Bloated as well, look. Warped, the flesh has been twisted, converted almost. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder what a neuro mod is. Must be quite important if it necessitates all of this. Decontamination. Why decontamination? Oh, hello. Oh, dear me. Oh, 
Oh, I see. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. So feeding facilitates their version of reproduction, which appears to be asexual. Okay. What's that? Baseball glove, lemon peel, spare parts. Hmm. Simulation in progress. So yeah, what happened? Like an alien contaminant or something? Med kit. Don't think I need that right now. Ah, oh, okay. Drastically different. No, I don't think we are in space. Look at everything. Nothing is built in such a way that it is, it is suitable for space. We must be on a planet. Nothing is stowed. Look. Hang on. Uh, Joven, we need we need the room updated to the uh, new test plan. Configurations are as follows: area of effect, copycat, spooky action. Hmm. Note about this morning. Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card off his cab um to his cabin off his body. Oh, so he did die. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Oh, no, wait, sorry, this is from Simmons. Sorry, which one's which? Who was the guy that got attacked? I guess Simmons is the guy who didn't get attacked. Bellamy is the guy that got attacked. Hmm. Bell yeah, Bell sorry, my mistake. So Simmons is just another doctor. Okay. So I guess he did die. That note about that note is bullshit. So Alex, you was a liar. Okay. What's that? Sorry. Maximum maximum entangled state. Button computer remote manipulation. What does that mean? Remote manipulation. Question mark. Employees checking in. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, dear me. <laughs> That's not good. Um, play your way. Experiment with different approaches to over overcome challenges. Sure. Do that in the gameplay, though. Game. Don't don't have a prompt pop up. Pop ups are not good. They're immersion breaking. Uh, okay, Bellamy. Here we go. Neuromod Division uh, Director. Oh, I see. So when detected, they... But note, it did not attack. I see. When I when I go to try and pick it up, or simply when I get close enough. Okay. What is this thing? A Typhon organ, exotic material used to fabricate neuromods. Neuromods. Could that be the equivalent, the in-game equivalent of a plasmid? Maybe. It does feel very Bioshock so far. Simulation lab. Okay. Uh, personality personality drift results to Bellamy. So here are the results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. Most recent test is pasted below for reference. Oh, I see. That was... Gotcha. So that was the personality test added at the end by request of... Was it Bellamy? Okay. Um, runaway train. Hmm. Uh, have my people people been coming to you, Sil? So Sil uh, Sylvain Bellamy. Uh, 
Sorry. Yes, I've noticed the same thing. Uh, you know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It actually, it's actually much worse with the uh, psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about uh, m uh, mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned that these are not isolated incidents. Going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting. Okay, acute anxiety. Morgan U, me, room A, B, pass, 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 fail, fail, fail. I see, so that's why they were express expressing confusion. I was passing every prior test. And those are dates, I presume? Yeah, sorry, it says date at the top. So they're lying about the date, so yeah, 23rd of Feb. So one a day, they're doing, yeah. Okay, so what happened then? What happened on this morning? What was different? So they wanted me to move the boxes without picking them up? Are they? Tr is it like some sort of, um, what is it like, uh, telekinesis, like plasmid or something that they're testing? Alice Eichen, neural map specialist. Parts of the human brain. What the fuck? What the fuck? That doesn't look right at all. Oh. No. Alex Eichen. Simulation question. Hey Alex, uh, this is from Simmons to Alice. I, I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neuro neuro mod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, in fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So I want to strip the neuro mod that makes you play piano, like Gustav Leitner. Uh, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way uh, the hell back, hence the apartment sim. Okay. User dedicated to their science is all I can say. Hmm. So they reset his brother, so me, Morgan's brain, all the way back ages ago, like long before we even went into orbit. First day on the job. Okay. I wonder if Morgan was... Did he consent to this? And then they started testing. Testing on him. Caleb Haw... Uh, sorry, Hawthorne. Error. Is that a hack? I see. Hacking one required. Not sure what I'm looking at. Complained about having an itchy eye? Is the device installed into his eye? Oh, Jesus Christ! can heal by drinking. Uh, so, examine. Oh, cool. Oh, look, there's a humanoid version. Hello. That was a phantom. Type in Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Hmm. Why the bloody footsteps? The head crab things kill on sight, do they not? Skill recorder and analysis. The piano. 
Ooh, what the fuck? Mimic. It pulled the body here. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Eggs, maybe? No. Glue cannon. Whatever this weapon discharges, maybe? Whoops. Ah, uh, no, don't do this. The Transdark Glue Cannon disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Extinguishes flames and temporarily stops electrical arcs. Yeah, that's not good design, sorry. Uh, okay. What's this, sorry. Bullets, I'll take those. Suit repair kit, may as well take it. Med kit. They can? Uh, good idea then. Sorry, Logos. Where can I disable those? Hang on. Interactive screens? No, wait, HUD? Uh, yeah, just looking for it. Um, so, uh, yeah, sorry to wind. Is it, I, I, I hate pop-ups. You know, I, I hate it when you're playing a game and something pops up and it snatches away your control. Um, hang on. Tutorial. Here we go. Found it. Disable all pop-ups. Gotcha. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, should be way better. Okay. Let's try firing this thing. I see. So why would they try to take something without harming it. Are there other prisoners like me that are being experimented on? Hello. Caution, keep clear, just a shop. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Whoop. Yeah, they can attack you without necessarily jumping on you. Whoop. Pick up the neuromods. Whoop. I see. Wait, sorry, is that a holographic projection? Am I really on a planet? Neuromod. I see, it's some sort of eye implant, I think. Everything you know is about to change. Well, I like that glass. That's cool. Right, so his eye is artificial? That's why he was scratching it? Oh, there's another one. What happens if I shoot you with this gun? You turn into that thing there? Did I get you? Was that his corpse or the one that I just killed a minute ago? Oh, maybe I did. Alright. Huh. Right. So I presume I need to sit in that chair in order to install it into his face? Code. I don't have the code. Ugh! A weapon, I presume? Hmm. 
Yeah, it's very Bioshock, isn't it? Very Bioshock. Wrench, Art Deco. I'm guessing that's a plasmid. Uh, little voice recorders that you can find. I thought Deus Ex at first, but no, it's very Bioshock. I wonder if there's going to be a Tommy gun and a shotgun and uh, big daddies. Restroom. Where am I going? I'm just kind sort of meandering around. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, sorry. I, I meant to just use it in my inventory. Okay. Uh, oh, where is it? Sorry. I see. Uh, no chipsets available. Items. Neuromods. Here we go. So. Physician. Security. What did I just pick up? Sorry, I should have read it, shouldn't I? Did it say something? Leverage. Lift heavy objects with ease. Throw them further. Gunsmith. Talent tree. Okay, now this is more this is more Deus Ex, isn't it? Um I see, just acquire? Hacking. Physician. Oh, hacking. Uh okay. So you put it in your artificial eye? Oh, maybe it's not artificial. What the fuck? He screamed in pain? Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Ow. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, okay. How did I do that? Was that three hits in quick succession? No, wait. Swing. Maybe because it was low on health, maybe. Maybe I should use that health kit that I picked up earlier. Uh, med kit. There we go. 30 health points. Sorted. Do I need to save manually? Maybe I do. Hold on just a second. Sorry, for those just joining then. Um, yeah, this is a total blind playthrough. I know nothing about the game. Um, insofar as the YouTube stuff is concerned, I'm working on Hold Fast Bullshittery on its second week of four. Please bear with me. Uh, oh, just a drink, a drinks fountain. There we go. F five is quick save. Ah, thank you very much. Good to know. Okay. So to capture subjects alive. This gun. What is what does the secondary fire do? Currently nothing. Does holding down the oh it's it's. it's pretty much fully automatic. Aha, here we go. 3F, 2F, 1F. Observation testing room. Skill recorder. Where am I now? Fabrication. Not sure. Let's keep moving. Keep exploring. Skill recording room. Restricted access. I did find that key card, didn't I? Aha, this way, maybe? Oh, okay, let's go. Right. So yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Thank you, Grove, Spaz, Aussie Spikes, Legacy, and Berlin. Thank you, all of you. And thank you for saying so, Fusil. Glad you liked it. Yeah, it took way too long. Holy shit. Okay. You made it. Ready for
for your first real view of the world? So they said station, didn't they? Nash Underwood. Briefcase with nothing in it. I see. Lunar Station? Yes. Okay. What was that? Uh, is that definitely Earth? That looks like South America. Oh, hello. Huh. Structural damage. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Yeah, surely we just need to evacuate. Fuck the office. Why did that blow up? What happened there? What sort of incident would cause structural failure? Hmm, look at that. So he said that he reset the memories way back, and it did, well, the flat was like the first day, the first day of work, so I presume this guy's been here for months? Renovated 2025. What was the year? It's ten years later? It's not filthy, so the, the place is still occupied. Hmm. She's been killed not with the mimics? Kelly Randolph. Uh, jellied eels and lemon peel. No, thank you. Shot, maybe? Fell? Hello. Phantom, one of the humanoid versions. The Neuromod, there's another one. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yikes! Oh! What am I doing to you? Oh, shit! You stuck? Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately oh. and await further instructions. They're quite tough, holy shit. I see. Hang on a minute. You'll get, you have some sort of ranged weapon. Yep. I see. So that weapon lets me slow you down long enough for me to beat you down. But I need to watch out for your ranged weapon that you have. Hmm. So what's this then? Extraterrestrial invasion? Sample got loose or something? Hmm. Okay. Psy hypno. What's this? Psychoscope. This thing, maybe? Yeah, his eye is definitely artificial. He's only got one real eye. I mean, look at this. See? It's a slot for inserting modifications. Okay. Uh, use the med kit. Oops, sorry, shit. Did I just use two? That should be fine. Okay, and this must be the device he has mounted in there as well. A psychoscope. Yeah, interesting. So human augmentation. They're working on experiments to do with human augmentation. Or at least one division is. I presume that's probably the station? Looks like a building, almost. Ship, maybe. Are those engines? Huh. The Goliath. Resupply, maybe? Goliath 5? Hmm. Not 
sure. Memorabilia? Oh, hang on. Oh, I see. 1963. Ah. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. So it's like an alternate reality type game. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. Okay. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. So a Cold War era station, later abandoned and decommissioned, purchased by uh, corporations for use in private Neuromod re well, so human augmentation I presume, free from the bureaucracy and government oversight I'm, oh I see yeah okay in memory of John F Kennedy oh okay right died uh, 2031 Yeah, so unregulated. Well, um, yeah, um, I, I, by the sounds of it, they were seeking. Hmm. Use to go. Why, why do I pick that up? Uh, yeah, they were seeking uh, a, a private place to do their augmentation, weren't they? But didn't specify why they took it over. Uh, oh, there's. Okay. Original Neuromod prototype. Spinal? Okay. Hmm. So for the people... Sorry, did I miss a room? Uh, survivor's account of the evacuation day. What's that? Uh, day one. I had dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Elisa. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over, very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know uh, where they were from, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, and the sound of jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anywhere, anymore even. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then sirens started. I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my instincts told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Elisa. Some people were running with me. But we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. Uh, I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Evacuation day. Turn to glitter. So I'm just going over here to see what was over here. Does it just reconnect? Okay. And I came from there, didn't I? Yeah. No, wait. I came from up there, didn't I? Sealed off. No matching key card. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much, Jeff. Hmm. 
So sort of future retro technology. The big ones seem to drag the bodies. Uh, hang on. I presume I'm, I'm not eating those immediately. Uh, suit chipsets, scope chipsets. I see, so the one in my eye is called a scope. My artificial eye. Uh, chipsets, what's that? Just in my body in general? Um, sorry, what's this? Suit repair kits. Yeah, just food. At least you can carry them instead of snarfing them down immediately. Can I press space in order to play Tetris with these? No, I can't. that? Or we'll make it inside here. Grab that. Employee orientation. Neuromods and compensation. Jesus Christ. Whoa, my God, there's quite a few of them. Hold on, hold on. Stay there for a second. Gives me time to deal with you. I see, I just need to get a glancing hit on you. That's it. Glancing hit is all it's going to take. But I got 20 health left. Right, there we go. I see, that's what happened to the first one. Do you remember when I found the gun? I wondered why it, why it was frozen in that pose. Let me just eat some stuff. It was frozen in that pose because the guard managed to hit it with that shit. Good morning, Carlos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result Can't in hear a what she's saying. Staff. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send okay. a health alert to security. Try to keep my health high. Eat and drink to the best of my ability to save the make it for emergencies. Okay. Right, what's this then? Neuromod. <laughs> um, neuromods and compensation. Transstar employees who perform at exemplary, exemplary levels are also el eligible to receive neuromods. Okay. That's it. I can't cycle the orientation. Press F. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, so private corporate retreat. Transstar. I wonder if um, Alex Yu is the head of it, maybe? They, yeah, they did say the Yu family. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you very much, Scooter. Okay. Let's go that way, as I was doing before. Sorry, what's that? I don't know. Just a piece of art or something functional? What's this in the middle? Whoa. Head, head going wibbly. Elevator shaft? or Yes, it's an elevator shaft. It's covered in this glowy... Not sure. Hmm. Thank you, Rink. Thank you very much, Rink. Sorry, just go through here as I was doing beforehand. Uh, can I just test something? No. It's a flammable, so if I have the ability to set fire to it... Ah, wonderful. Oh, like... So try to get at least one locked down and then start going for the others. Oh, interesting. I got it while it was still transformed and therefore I... I killed it very quickly. Okay, so if I can try to identify the ones that are indeed transformed, 
I can eliminate them before they'll be able to ambush me. Okay, just need, so I need to pay close attention to my environment. Uh, grab some noodles. Uh. So these do break if I want to get them out of the way. Security. Uh, so for those joining the stream, I hope you're okay. I'm playing as, um, what's his name again? Something you, Morgan you, a gentleman who appears to be, um, I think he's had his memory erased. He's a, a gentleman who is the brother of, I think, the, the game's equivalent of the Andrew Ryan type. So the head of a corporation, maybe? I'm not sure yet. And um, I think my brother brought me up here to experiment on me. Not sure why me specifically. Uh, but this space station away from government oversight, so a rapture, is doing neuromod research, which I'm guessing is like plasmids. Again, I'm just drawing some assumptions. Note, you're a real trash can. Oh, wait, there's something in there. Crumpled paper. Nothing. So if you're the real trash can, what the fuck are you? Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Cheeky bugger. Staff lounge. Trauma center. Laura McAvoy. What's she got on her there? Biohazard waste. Medical waste. Refrigerate or recycle. Uh, trauma center. No matching key card. Staff lounge. Something tried to pull through it. Look. I'm guessing one of the anthropomor anthropomorphic versions. Hmm. Ah! Looks like I've got to go around. Let's go this way. Uh, one second. My health is not superb. Going to eat some udon noodles and soup repair kit. Don't eat that. Uh, Typhon organs contain exotic material. A used cigar, slightly damp. Ugh. Can I drop it, please? Drop. Who the fuck carries a used cigar? Conferring. Uh, oh, 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 hang on. Two firearms. There's, there's two firearms in there. Okay. We just heard one of them make a noise in here. So there's a mimic in here. Does anything look? Out of the ordinary? Aha. Key to the trauma center. I see nothing knocked over. Emails. What's this then? Uh, so from uh, John to Bianca. Uh, so, Miss Goodwin, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 8819. Uh, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Volunteers. Gustav. Okay, thank you. From Bianca. Dr. Igwi, I relayed, relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do. But there are no guarantees. The schedule... Hello? The code to your office is 0451. Thank you. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when we can have more details. Bianca. So that was a follow-up to... 
Any updates on the Gustav Leitner visit? Something to do with a piano player. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love to uh, love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure. Ah, interesting. Were rich and talented people turning up in order to spend their money on the neuromods? Leitner's visit. Yeah, Igwe showed up, quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him, asking him to sign an album he'd bought. Leitner seems flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hadn't stopped him ha craving a, cig a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe his, maybe his abilities are getting scanned in. Before he died of some condition? Maybe that's the purpose of the neuromods, to try and capture human skills to pass them on. Is that a turret? It is a turret. Looks way too small to be a firearm. What are you? Scanning target, no alien material detected. No, it is it is a firearm. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Turret. Appreciate it. Oops. Where's my flashlight? There we go. Principles of Neuroscience 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plants, uh, photosynthesis, uh, avian navigation and our own sense of smell paved the way for eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Okay. Uh, Silverlin, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I, um, know that it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Oh, this is from me. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Oh, interesting. So this is to the Dr. Bellamy. So I knew him personally. He's even got a winky face. So I, I wrote this. I'm trusting you with my brain. Good morning, you do good work. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Hmm. Let Alex know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Okay, so that answers that question. So... I wasn't dragged into this. I volunteered. Okay. Is this my office then? From Morgan to Silverlin. Really? This is my office? It's a fucking dump. Hmm. Uh, the nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and ir irreductible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Okay. Well, it's not Bellamy's office, is it? Look at it. Oh, wait! Move his office. Maybe he was mid-move. Ah, my mistake. Maybe this is Bellamy's office. The Doctor Duden. He's in the process of moving out. Uh, Scanning target. No type and material detected. Morgan Yu. Me. Director of Research? Vice VP? Director of Research? Wow, I've got my name in gold Checking above my practice. office. Servers offline. I see. Fuck you, Bellamy. Your shitty little box office. So, Goodwin, guest and volunteer liaison. Wow, look at that. 
Look at that typeface. Look at the, look at the font. It's all very, yeah. Director of research. Oh, I've even got a PA. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm gonna take the PA's banana as is as is my right. Fuck you, Jason Chang. It's my my banana. Ah, uh, cool. This is where I can, I can hit the button and say like, Jason, get the fuck in here. Give me a Snickers. Uh, no password found. Oh, of course. There we go. Thank you, Tintin. Oh, wow, look! Holy shit! Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. Oh. The video should be on your workstation. Okay. So for those just joining, I appear to be, uh, what's it, VP, uh, what is it, Director of Research here on this space station. <coughs> and, okay. Neuromod. So three potential Neuromod injections. My key card? Teleconferencing. Morgan Yu. There we go. I left a note for myself. Good morning, Morgan. Uh, I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe from my PA, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Utilities. Watch me, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. Watch me LGV playback on main screen. Cool. Hello, oh. Morgan. Tough day, right? Oh. If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. Mm. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Yes, terrible news. Okay. I just thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Interesting. He's still alive? The brother's still alive. And he must be monitoring this room. Okay. And he really didn't want me to hear what I was about to tell me next. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Hmm. Okay. So I volunteered for something, have my memory keep continually resetting. They were mapping the memories on uh, from that alien organism onto us, for some reason? Okay. You made it. From January, the operating system that I've... The, the operator? Sorry, he called it an operator, not an operating system. Eom. From Illusion to Morgan. Uh, I still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't still be civil. 
You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. Uh, we still have to work together. Mika. Do not disturb from, uh, so from Jason to Morgan. As requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite in crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware sent up. Hmm. Let me know if, uh... Sorry, I thought we said that I lived here for three years. Suite in crew quarters. Let me know if uh, you get... Sorry, if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure that you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Hold the fort, not hold down the fort. Jason, my PA. Hmm. Uh, do I see a bed? Oh, I see. Okay. So I wasn't literally... Yeah, it was, it, I wasn't literally living in the office. Okay. Whoops. 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 Hmm. What's that? Hmm. Okay. What's this then? What was I doing? Fabricator. No plans to fabricate. Weapon upgrades, maybe? Can I insert one of my weapons and have it like greater damage or greater accuracy or something? Well, that's a stupid question. This is a fucking. This is a fucking uh, non lethal weapon. I wouldn't be able to upgrade the damage. Grab the med kit. Morgan, use sweet. Tulips? Who sent me tulips? Hmm. Organic material, synthetic material. I'm guessing you feed this into the weapon upgrade machine? Wrench fabricator. Aha, there we go. So, wrench. Weapon upgrade. Uh, place crafting ingredients in the slots. <coughs> Whoops. I see. Yeah, okay. Spare parts. Right. Items in... And this is a recycler, isn't it? Yeah, so you just drop a bunch of stuff in there and... Whoopsie, sorry, do I need that? Spare parts. Does the highlight indicate whether it's junk to be recycled? Transfer junk. Press F. Yes, I presume so. Frayed wire? What does black mean? Does not junk? Oh, maybe it does. Obviously, hold down F and it transfers all junk. Okay. Escape, and then when it's in the bin, we recycle to get some proper parts. Okay. Synth synthetic materials, mineral materials, exotic materials. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, where... How can I tell the difference between pressing it or holding it? Oh, I see. The arrow. Holding it down. Transfer junk. There we go. Oops. What's that? Burnt circuit board. Okay. So this is one of those games where you just grab everything and just stuff it all in the recycler. Oops. What indicates what's... When it's flashing? Oh, look. Who's... I see. Elder brother, maybe? Parents? Oh, is it like uh, nepotism? Did they run the company originally? Right. That's not good. Ah, safe. There we go. So search the safe. What's this? Uh, the glue cannon ammo fabrication plan and weapon upgrade kit. Combine this item with a weapon to upgrade it. It requires gunsmith or a lab. Okay. Damn it. Glue canister. Canister of compressed incapacitate incapacitant foam. What does it require? 
to mineral materials, and I don't know what that means. Hmm. Okay. Just need to find more. Okay. Right, so I should go to the suite. Something, uh, yeah, what was it? About backups being sent up to my suite? Also, he said, uh, the, yeah, the operator program that I've got told me to go to find the inventor of the looking glass technology, didn't he? So presumably I can see the, the message that I left to myself on the servers. With all of these um, talent points that I've accrued. One second. I'm trying to find the right button. There we go. Oh, there's a map as well. There we go. Right. Objectives. Search Bellamy's corpse in the... Tra search for it in the trauma center. I've got the key, haven't I? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. In a, uh, we'll go down there and investigate that next. The newer mods. Here we go. Engineering, security, three tiers. Status... Combat focus, stealth, conditioning, firearms. Uh, not sure what to pick. Neuromods required three. How many have I acquired? Four. Reduce stamina cost of wrench attack by 25%. Fix broken grav shafts, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts. Increase recycling yield by 20%. Lift heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. Security. Firearms. Damage with security. Weapons to 120%. Combat focus. Enter a state of combat focus for 10 seconds in which you, in which time slows down. Ooh. Sounds cool. Stealth. Enemies take longer to detect you when you're sneaking or crawling. Hacking. Bypass level 1 security measures. Probably would be a good idea. Oh, I've already got that one. Hacking 2. 4 neuromods required. Um, you know what, just for the memes, leverage one, acquire. Pick up shit and throw it, so I can throw, pick up like chairs and lob them at the goddamn bloody... If a chair turns into a mimic, I throw the other chair at the, at the mimic. Okay. Increase recycling yield. Reduce stamina cost of wrench attacks. Why not? So I'm going to scream, swing the wrench, throw the chair, and then fling the mimic out the window. Right. That's my turret. I see it requires leverage too. Can I move the turret? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, wow, cool. Does it unfurl? Deploy. Hold. Deploying. Cool. I wonder if you can get the, um, blah, 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 what are they called? Uh, you know the little, um, fuck, what are they called? You know in Bioshock when you can get, the, you can summon the little flying fuckers, the little drones? Oh, yeah, there we go. Deploy, 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 deploy. You went that way. Yeah. Come here. Oh, dude! Come here. What the fuck am I doing? You come here. I can't deploy. I, ha I see. I have to put you down, then deploy you. Right. Let's find the mimic. There you are. It didn't take long. He's in this room. Which object do you reckon he is? There he is. I see. So mimics vibrate a little bit? Aha! So look for any object that has the shivers, eh? Right. Um, so looking at the time, folks, I'm going to go down to Bellamy's body. So the, the doctor at the beginning who had his face... Um, ripped off by one of these mimics. And then I probably need, need to go get on with work today, if that's alright. Oh, 
Laura McAvoy, corpse. Let me just. Whoops. Did I really just grab her shit? Is it a bag of shit? What did I just grab? Grim. Biohazard waste. Material yield. Great. Here we go. Into the key card? Use the key card. Do you see anything moving? So we're here in the trauma center. Again, speaking to those who weren't here at the beginning, the doctor that was running a bunch of tests on me was attacked by one of these mimics. They took his body and an email went out that he's stable and in critical condition. But then another email said he's fucking dead. Anna Goldcrest, corpse. She's got a sample of organic mat matter in a petri dish. Thank you, Mortarion. Thank you very much. Ooh, why is it glowy? One of the mimics is glowy for some reason. Also speaking to those who weren't here, the station seems to be a corporate effort to work on something called the Neuromod, which seems to interface with what I think is an artificial eye? It seems to be rewiring neurons in the brain, I'm guessing to record skills and pass them on. So like a piano player, a famous piano player was here. Asteroid fragment. Baseball glove. So what sounded like a terminally a terminally ill piano player was here and getting a scan. Question mark. He's burning. Does he have some sort of range attack, I wonder? I see. Is that his detection radius of me? Has he detected me when it goes red? I see. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Whoa, bloody hell. Wow. Okay. I got completely shagged. Oh shit, when did I last save? That's a good question. When did I last save? Oh, yeah, thank fuck for that. Okay. Maybe I need to quick save more often. Don't carry. Search. Please swipe your tracking bracelet to recall your reservation. What's that voice? Something about suit. Tracking bracelet. Is it speaking? Is the alien speaking? Hmm. Uh, what's this? Crew 13. What's that noise? I see it stomping around. Garfield Langley. Is it someone who's been modified with the Neuromod? When they said that they're in, they're using the alien what's it in the Neuromod. There's two of them. I see, I can lean. Can it get a visual fix on me if I lean? Negative. Okay, so I need to be a bit more careful. Is that a quick read? Crew. What does it say? Nurse, no life signs, shuttle bay. Interesting. Emmanuel de Silva is in the shuttle bay. Whoopsie, wrong button. Let's see the crew. Chris Wade, Beth. Counselor. So someone's in the shuttle bay. We need to get to the shuttle bay to evacuate. 
Oh wait, so a trauma center, life support. I see. Bernard Griffith, uh, Griffith is in the crew quarters. Psychotronics. Uh, Igwa. Neuromod research cargo bay. Holy shit. Trevor Young, nominal. What about here? Where am I now? The bridge. That's not where I. That's not where I am. But anyway. Station captain. No life signs. Doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. It could just mean that they're not wearing the device. So I'm just reading the names. Variety part of security in the cargo bay, shuttle bay. Frank Jones. Whoops. Oh, I see. Oh, sweet. I can actually track their bodies. That'd be super useful. Oh, I, sorry. I'd love the attention to detail if every single body can be found. Oh, wow. That. Oh, I'd be so. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, that sort of stuff. L lots of little attention to detail like that. Um, hang on, the lobby. So where am I? Is anyone alive on this deck? Uh, Morgan Yu. Here I am. Vice President. So I'm, I'm full on Vice President. I'm in the lobby. There's someone else here. Maxine Ford. Look for someone called Maxine Ford. She's over there. 54 meters. No, wait. Sorry. How do I untick it? Did I just select myself? Find Morgan Yu. Objective complete. Obviously, I found Morgan Yu. I am Morgan Yu. Hang on. Maxine. Where's Maxine? She's over there. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. Objective. Find Morgan Yu. Look in a mirror. Objective achieved. Everything will be absolutely fine. Of that I have no doubt. The fuck is making that noise? Can the aliens talk? Oh shit! I missed him. Oh Jesus Christ, I missed him. Suit feedback. Is that my suit? Can I challenge them out here? Don't fight the big fiery one. He's scary. To glass. I'm not going to get out of this one, am I? Oh. Ooh, Jesus Christ! Ooh, hello! I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, Jesus Christ! You know, we might need to retrieve the firearm from upstairs. What do you think? I don't think I'm going to stand a chance with an itty bitty goo gun. Right. Okay, well, there are firearms upstairs. I hope we can come back and try to have a look at this dude's body. Um, so looking at the time, though, folks, apologies. I'm probably going to leave it there this morning, this afternoon even. Uh, I've got quite a lot of work that I need to do today on holdfast nations at war bullsh bullshittery. So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subbing Akbar and Matty and Jellyfish and Mortarian. Thank you, all of you. So yes, um, on the bullshittery front, I've got the first five minutes of ten to properly animate today. I can normally do, do about 60 seconds uh, per day, so long as I stay focused. So the plan is firstly, if you'll forgive me, I need to go for a run. I'm feeling pretty fucking fat. Um, so I need to go for a run to get this beer belly off me, because then maybe a hot chick will sit on my face. Maybe. Uh, so... And then after that, I'm going to go and get on with the bullshittery, ed bullshittery editing. So that's the plan. So thank you for being here. Uh, one second. Let me just do a proper save. Proper save. There we go. Right. 
She's also had a, a yeah, she's shivering because she had a bath. She got really, really dirty. She had fun in the park, but she got completely caked in chalk and dirt. And she just came bouncing up towards me like, Dad, look what I've done. And I was like, straight in the bath. And to be fair, she was a good girl. She didn't misbehave when she was in the bath. But now she's, yeah, obviously quite damp and cooling down. Right. Okay. Let me have a quick look. So who's doing what? So right now, in the clan, who's on? Is anyone doing anything that might be worth watching? Joink is playing Metroid Prime. And there's, okay, in which case, uh, well, I'll hand you over to Joink then. So this is ZF Joink. He's doing a bit of Metroid Prime. Thank you for watching all. I'm going to go for a run. Have a lovely afternoon. See you all soon.